I enlisted in South Carolina Army National Guard. I was, a, I was an E1, so didn't have any rank. I just uh, was sitting at home, getting fat, and decided I needed to lose some weight, so I joined the military and I wanted to serve my country. So I did that, and uh, I mean, I've been doing that for 10 years now. So I've been an 89 Bravo ammunition specialist, but we do some cross training, so we're 3 5 platoon, we do fuel, we do ammo. So I mean, I've done practically uh, pretty much all those skill levels as far as refuel and also dealing with ammo and then occasionally some mechanic work like generators and stuff like that I mean I kind of know a little bit about everything in a sense because um, I mean just stuff that I've worked around so I just learned how to fix certain things and do certain stuff so, yeah. so I started singing uh, originally when I was probably I'd say it was 15 I just didn't have any vocal training I just put a CD in or you know, whatever, and I basically got on the road just blaring, like all the way up as loud as I could go. My old single cab F-150, just singing as much as I can. And over time, it just kind of turned into turned into something. Now I started playing guitar when I was 12, so that was kind of my reason for singing. I was like, well, if I'm gonna play guitar, I might as well learn how to sing, you know, because that's I guess that's the thing to do. So uh, that's realistically how it all kind of started. Just me. I played the guitar. A couple years later, started driving, started singing, and the rest of the history at this point. So I, was, I went to Iraq from 11 to 12. Took a guitar with me. I mean, it was really always something that I did for fun. Like I had no intentions of trying to like pursue some sort of musical aspirations. Um, but when I was overseas, I was with the guys, and they're like, "Hey, dude, like, you know, you really need to think about." You know think about doing this for real and it was really just a lot of motivation from those guys because i mean before i never i mean i was like yeah i just do this for fun and my i'm a realist so i'm like yeah people are going to tell you you're good because they, they want you to be they want you to hear what you want to hear you know and uh, but the thing is i played for the guys and then i ended up winning a talent show in kuwait when we were in camp Buring in 2011 it was uh new year's eve and uh it just kind of sparked me a little bit i was like okay well because there's some pretty talented people there, and I definitely didn't think I was going to win, but, you know, I did. So I got 90 bucks in PX and bought a bunch of steaks and grilled in the middle of a sandstorm, so it was, it was awful. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the guard kind of helped me as far as being overseas and the guys that were there with me. It kind of pushed me to, to kind of take things a little bit further. Well, the reason I'm doing this full time now um, is because my wife told me to quit my job and she told me to hey you need to go do this because I'm tired of you sitting at home on the couch singing to nobody so um, I had a good job I was the territory manager for a diagnostic company I worked in sales for you know about seven years I made really good money but I hated it so um, you know she got her nursing degree and started working at the hospital and was just like hey listen go do this thing and Pretty much because of her, I decided to actually do this full time because she pushed me, you know, to do it. And of course, my kids love it, you know, because they get to hear me sing all the time. But uh, I just, you know, that was the main thing. So as far as family support is concerned, I mean, I've, I'd have, I've got like all of that going on. I mean, they're they're pushing me to do more and, and things like that. And then of course, military family. Everybody's excited right now. I've, I've got a single coming out at the end of March. It's gonna be available on all streaming platforms, and they're like, "Hey, dude, let us know when it comes out. We gotta, we gotta listen to it. We gotta share it with our friends. We gotta do this and that and the other." So, family from both ends has just been like super supportive. So, well, I mean, like the main thing for me is, is this is why I tell people all the time. Since I've done this, like I hated my life for like seven years as far as working goes. I mean, I couldn't stand it. Like, I love people and I like sales, just hate the whole back and forth and all that stuff. And don't get me wrong, I was good at it, but it's like if you can do what you want to do with your life, you only get one life. And I actually wrote a song called Make a Life because of the because of my walk through this past little bit here. So, you know, like if there's any advice that I can give anybody is find a way to do what you love. Because if you don't do that, you're gonna be miserable for the rest of your life. And it's just no fun. And I can I can tell you firsthand the uh, emotional issues, the mental issues, you know, of being somewhere you don't want to be. And now that I'm in a situation that I I love what I do. I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I take my kids to school. I come home. I pick a guitar up and I start writing music. And it's like this is awesome, you know. And I just there's nothing better than doing what you want to do and if you can do it by God figure out a way to do it you know and 
there's steps and things that you can take, you know, like use your full-time job to work on your part-time thing and then make it a full-time thing. I mean, there's, I could talk about this like all day because I read book after book after book after book because I was like, there's got to be an easier way. There's got to be a better way. And I found my outlet. Fortunately, my wife helped, obviously. Um, she's got a pretty good paycheck coming in. But it's just like, do what you love. If you don't do what you love, then, you know, you're, you're selling yourself short, in my opinion. So...